beautiful day for a walk. Not sure about photography because it's very blue. You can see some clouds. So hopefully we'll get a bit of interest. But today we're heading up Loughrig. Well, I said I'd see you at the top, but in true Mali style, you know I can't help myself. Look at that. You probably can't see it on this camera because it's so wide. But we've got very low sun, early morning sun. Uh, we missed the sunrise because we were having a full English supplied by Nat. But look at the side light on those trees, just illuminating it across the fells is beautiful. I can't help myself. We've stopped again because what is in front is beautiful, especially with those three or four pines. Oh, so it's going to be a telephoto shot surrounded by this the last of the autumn colours and all the fells behind wow it's blue very blue with no cloud a little bit peeking in here you can see but as for where I'm shooting it's all about these trees and the uh, the fells behind us Furfield absolutely beautiful right let's get set up we're just looking at the Furfield horseshoe <laughs> oh yeah full Full TV show. Say your name, sir. Hi there, I'm Philip Dixon. What a great morning. Bit too good to rush. <laughs> See you. Get rushing. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Pass by, you don't mind getting on YouTube. <laughs> Can't beat it up here. Everyone's just so nice. And good, just stop and chat and what have you, as always. <laughs> We've still not got something. <laughs> you know me, I like to talk. We've just saw a glimpse of the old man. He's looking young today. Lights on his forehead. He's enjoying it. Right, let's crack on. So I've just started recording because as, as Mali style, I got very excited because we've got some snow-capped mountains. You're not going to see them because uh, the wide angle on the GoPro. But we've got Bowfell and we've got the massive. We've got, we've got the pikes from here oh, and then Coniston wonderful view this I didn't expect this from here actually I knew we'd get some uh, some of the big lads but I didn't expect to see a snow capped scar fell as well so below me is Lufferig Tarn and Elta Water just behind it and as fells go this hasn't been too challenging at all we've got a while to go yet to hit the summit just over there, Lufferig. All of this is Lufferig. My nephew, Owerly, he knows his stuff. He's telling me it's one of the biggest, uh, like, per square metre fell tops. There's a lot. There's a lot of routes, different ways you can get through. Uh, we're with View Ranger and we're sticking to what it's giving us, and so far, the download and everything's working a treat. I've always got it and I tend not to use it because you can't really get lost unless conditions are bad but when it's like this you just use your common sense and, and your nose you know you know you're north east south west you know you, you can see for miles so it's not not difficult behind me here we've got a spectacular view of Windermere uh, it's a pity though it, it is blown out it's total blue skies today so I will be coming back up here as it's not that hard to get up and you're surrounded by outstanding fells. The mountains are really proud today. Pike of Blisco, got the Langdale Pikes. You know, we, I, we, we're debating if that was Scarfell in the distance. I, I'm gonna have another look on View Ranger, but we're pretty sure that's Scarfell Pike and we've got snow. Just dropping down behind there, you've got Bleetarn, where we was a couple of weeks ago. You've probably seen that video by now. And uh, let's crack on. 
Hey, spawn decking, I tell you. I've got a <laughs> cough. <coughs> Done a bit. I've put, I've put a bit in so far. You know, get rid of this timber. But look at this. The reflections on Luffrig. Do you know, we might have to come back that way. Look at that. And it's still old in colour. You know, we're mid-November now. And when this goes out, you'll probably be wearing your Santa hat. But I'm not, I'm not under pressure me to put my vlogs out. I do this for me. And obviously you guys, but I'm under no rush to get it out seasonal. You know, it give you a little look back in time. And go, oh, I remember all that colour in the Lake District. We didn't have any big storms and it didn't blow all the leaves off. What a summer for photography and what a, uh, an autumn and winter it's going to be. I think we're going to do well this year. You know, they're showing us snow already. Just what we need. Right, I'm going on again. See there. We made it to the summit. To Kern. Lothrig. Tick. Another way right in the bag. It's a little one this, but well worth it for these views. So I think we're going to set up a panel here. Getting in uh, Lufferig Tarn, Elta Water, Coniston, coming round. Over the backside there is Blee Tarn, Rhinos Fell. In the distance we've got the Langdale Pikes. I'm sure it's a bit of Scarfell showing itself. A yeah, bit of white earth. And these beautiful pines. Still showing colour for autumn. Coming round, finishing off with Grasmere, and we'll call that the end of the panel. So it's going to be oh, easy 10 shots. And we're getting a bit of interest with the cloud now. If it comes over a bit more, we'll get a bit of shadow, a bit more depth. But it's uh, stunning today. Not photographer's weather, but just stunning. The light on all the trees, the angles, the shadows is incredible. Look at that. So it's going to be uh, usual, F11, probably one sixteenth of a second, ISO 50 on the tripod, and uh, we'll we'll see how that the pano pans out. Right, so there. Well, Wolfrig didn't disappoint. Not a difficult fell to get to, if you're steady. Uh, we're just dropping down now to another ridge that looks over Grasmere. The difference the light makes. We're getting some cloud now. and What are we on? We're at midday, well, 10 past 12. So uh, we're getting a harsher, higher sun but the clouds moved in and it's just spectacular. Look at that. There's so many shots today, it's unbelievable. Steps. Come on, we'll go get him on. We're getting him on. Don't get me on, I might swear. Have you got a bleep machine? Davina, <laughs> yeah. you are live, please don't swear. Live on Mali Photography, please do not swear. <laughs> He's a pro. This is Ali, as we call him. Everyone's Ali and our Paul. No, no, you got to mention Cox, so if you're watching this one, I'll do. I'll do. See there. Right, <laughs> belting. It's got to be said, Sunday walkers are the most pleasant. Not only this Saturday rabble, or even the rushing Friday. You're Sunday, they're, they're, they're more streamlined, they're more, you know, the greyer, chilled out. 
respectful, say hello, good morning, good morning. I love that, that's, that's what we should all do. None of this city business, rushing round, no. Just take your time, enjoy the view. What more can a man ask for? Or a lady, or a dog, even a pigeon, squirrel, badger, any kind of animal. Speaking of badgers, that's where we're going for a pint. So there. Collection of silver birch, framed with, uh, I think they're oak. I'm having a bad day for trees. You know the tree up there with all the red berries on? It was a hawthorn. I didn't knew it was a hawthorn. Really? Come on, get a grip, Molly. It was a hawthorn anyway. But here, we just had some light come dancing down. And I just couldn't get it quick enough. I think it's coming back. So we're just waiting for a bit of light. I'm going to cut that there, so 20 minutes later. <laughs> oh no, I won't make you wait that long. Right, if I get this shot, I'll put it up now. Cheers. Oh, I think I'm about F F8. I've had bumped the ISO to 400 to get over 250th of a second because I'm hand holding. If you see the light before me, tell me to turn round, please. No. It's happening. <laughs> Luffrig, not that hard. And stunning, stunning 360 views. Highly recommended from Mali Photography, of course. On a serious note, it's been endless today. The amount of shots I could have got and the amount of shots I did get uh, I'll put up now at the end. I've put a couple up throughout, but wow, it has been a bit tasty today. And we're ending it at Badger Bear. Badgers. I hope there's plenty of them and the taste of cider. So, without further ado, if you like what you've seen, hit subscribe. And if you want to see more, hit the notification bell. And there's only one thing left to say here at Badger Bar, and that's Cider!